So this will be a short video on sex hormones. In male, they are androgens and in female, they are estrogens and the progesterogens. Now first talk about androgens. Androgens, commonly the testosterone, is secreted due to the stimulation of hypothalamus which secretes the GnRH hormone which stimulates the anterior pituitary. So anterior pituitary secretes LH hormone which stimulates the Leydig cells in the testes and they secrete the testosterone. Testosterone is necessary for the spermatogenesis. Testosterone is responsible for male secondary sexual characteristics and also for the sex organ development in males. Now let's see the clinical uses of androgens. Androgens are used as a replacement therapy in testicular failure. In boys with delayed puberty, these androgens can be used to boost the secondary sexual characteristics and the libido will also increase. Androgens are used in aplastic anemia, in breast cancer and in, in certain terminal illnesses. And androgens are used in replace hormone replacement therapy. Now let's see indications for androgen replacement anochia that is the absence of testicles by birth so you will need androgens for the male sex secondary sexual characteristic development and male sex organ development so in anochia we use androgen replacement in Kleinfelter syndrome and disorders associated with the hypothalamus and the pituitary in some autoimmune disorders, in hemochromatosis, which will inhibit the testosterone, and people with trauma who are unable to secrete testosterone, and after surgeries, sometimes you will not able to secrete testosterone due to the testicular surgeries, so you will need the androgen replacement therapy. So now let's talk about the adverse effects of androgens. So these androgens will cause hypothalamic pituitary suppression. So when there are a lot of androgens accumulate, it will inhibit the hypothalamus and anterior pituitary. So it will cause the hypothalamic pituitary suppression and it will cause increased libido. In females, it will cause virilization and it can, it can be responsible for liver injuries as well. So androgens are contraindicated in pregnant mothers and uh, males with prostate cancer. So now let's move into the estrogen. It's a female sex hormone. So the natural forms of estrogens are the estrons and the estradiols. Estrogen is responsible for development of female genital tract and secondary sexual characteristics of the girls and it is responsible for the uterine growth and thickening of the vaginal mucosa and it is important for the breast development as well. So what are the indications for clinical use of estrogen? So estrogen can be used as replacement therapy in ovarian failure in both congenital and acquired examples in a Turner syndrome and uh, surgeries uh, after removal of the ovaries can use uh, estrogen as a replacement therapy and in some autoimmune conditions as well. So when there are pituitary failure in uh, syndromes like Sheehan syndrome and autoimmune conditions and space occupying lesions, we can use estrogen for the hormone replacement and very importantly and commonly estrogens are used as a contraceptive method and uh, in menstrual disorders uh, such as irregular menstrual bleeding and as uh, in senile vaginitis 
we can use for estrogen as a pharmacotherapy. So what are the adverse effects of estrogen? So estrogen can cause you trouble you train bleeding when when you use the estrogen for some time and then you stop you can develop withdrawal uterine bleeding and uh, edema thromboembolism nausea and vomiting and there's evidence that it will increase the risk of endometrial cancer commercial preparations are available in the forms of ethinyl estradiol and estradiol now let's move into the last hormone progesterone so progesterone is secreted from the corpus luteum Progesterone is responsible for the maintaining the secretory phase of the endometrium during the menstrual cycle. So now let's see the indications of progesterones. Progesterones are commonly used as a contraceptive and in postmenopausal hormone replacement therapy and menstrual disorders. And we use progesterones to delay the menstruation and as a treatment for endometriosis. Now let's talk a brief about postmenopausal hormone replacement therapy. So after the menopause, females might encounter vasomotor symptoms such as hot flushes, sweating, and sleep disturbances. So in these cases, we might prescribe progesterones as hormone replacement therapy. They will benefit for the osteoporosis as well. and the cardiovascular risk in females will be reduced with the use of progesterones and the lipid profile also will become favorable so the combined therapy is important if the uterus is intact so now let's see the adverse effects of progesterones as estrogens this for the progesterones can cause withdrawal bleeding after stopping the progesterone therapy and breast tenderness and thromboembolism and breast cancer and endometrial ce so what are the contraindications the breast cancer and reason thromboembolic events so if you have any questions please mention in the comment section and uh, if you have suggestions and if you suggest if you have suggestions on more topics please mention them as well in the comments So thank you very much for joining to this video